Hey, what is up guys? It is Flick here. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'll be teaching you guys how to change the LED under the Sensei mouse. And hope you guys enjoy this video because it's my first tutorial video. And if I get anything wrong, I'm very sorry, but I'll make sure this is right. Okay, so Sensei mouse. So first of all, you have to download this right here. It's called Steel Series Engine 3. The link will be in the description below. All you gotta do is just download it, accept, accept, accept. And if there's any problems, just search it on Google, I guess, or re-download it. That might help. And instantly when you open the app, your mouse should be detected already. Mine got detected right away. And I already changed my LED under my uh, mouse. This is what it looks like on the screen right here. And the Sensei, I think it, a Sensei is only the only mouse that has it right now. So for Steel Series, so if you're another mouse, I'm not sure. But this one is for the Sensei, and this this one will be right. So all you gotta do is install it, and the mouse will pop up right away. Any problems again? Contact Google, not contact Google, but search it on Google. Open the Sensei app. Uh, usually it will start off with this right here top and you can't really see it you gotta go to bottom and now you can see it right there this all you gotta do is click on the toolbar or that box right there and you can see actually you can actually uh, write or whatever you want uh, customize it anything actually but what I recommend is you can upload an image to do this, you don't need to use Photoshop, but for the uh, for to be the, to it to be the easiest, just use Photoshop. Okay, so I already have Photoshop installed. If you don't have Photoshop, it's very easy to get. I'll just leave a link to a Photoshop for free in the description below. And all you gotta do is just do press File and New and name it whatever you want. I'm gonna name it Still to series I don't know how to spell series okay series LCD and let's go the width has to be 128 pixels by 32 pixels remember it has to be pixels the background contents can be whatever you want uh, you can select the background color but I just do white because it's very simple you can change really easily just put like a black image behind or anything and it will become black behind so you can see right here just put as full screen uh it's cancel do that okay so you can see right here it's really small All you gotta do is just press the search tool zoom thing and it's really easy just press z and it will go on there instantly and you just gotta click and drag up actually it's okay there we go just zoom in it's really easy and the next thing you want to do is to add some text. Put a text just in the middle around there. Make it pretty symmetrical. You can change it later. And do whatever text you want or text font you want. Very simple. Just go to, let me make a new tab. Just go to dafonts.net. Once again, I'll link it in the description. What I chose, what I think is good is some uh, really uh, bold characters or fonts I chose a uh, comic and I went to bada boom and yeah Obelix Pro was pretty nice too and so I'm gonna be doing be redoing the same thing I'm doing here and all you gotta do is you know make a box <laughs> okay just like that and just type whatever you want so this one is example right here example and you can literally get something really small and add it like a what do you call it art text or something like this or something really small in pixel that you can work with it really easily so something like that but it is not working for my computer, I don't know why my Mac computer actually works with it, but I guess this one doesn't really detect it. So, example is press save as, name it whatever you want. Once again, it's already named what you named it uh, before when you made it new. And PNG, just save it. 
uh, I don't know how, like, what difference this is, but to make it the best, I guess you want to make impressions smallest and slow, and inter interlace none, I guess, and okay. Before that, pre don't forget to choose a source. I chose my desktop, upload in image, I have a desktop right here, and still series LCD. It'll pop up like that, and you can select the brightness. I keep it around the middle because you know, I don't know why <laughs> you barely look at it anyway. So you press done, and it won't show until you press save. And save, and you're done. And this is what it looks like. For example, you can see you can change whatever text uh, font you want, so it depends on you. But that's pretty much how to do it, guys. Hope you guys enjoy this video. If you guys enjoy this video, leave a like. It only takes a millisecond actually so you can just press escape and click on it but just take press a, leave a like you know and share with your friends if you friends have this kind of uh, mouse too so anyways guys peace out